We're going to one of the most mysterious places in Peru, and we're still in that desert environment, that very low land, hot, desert, coastal Peru. We're coming in, and there really isn't even much to see once we get here. Not much to see from the ground. What we need to do is take a small plane up, okay, to see the Nazca Lines. Now, these are 18 different shapes and figurines drawn by the Nazca people over 3,000 years ago in the ground by exposing the light side of the rock and building a small trench. So there's a hummingbird, a spider, a tree, all of these shapes and figurines that were built by the Nazca people thousands of years ago. And you can see that these extend sometimes for 50 meters. That's, you know, over 100 feet. They're absolutely massive. There's the longest figurine, which which is the heron. And of course the mystery is, why would these people have drawn these figurines in the ground when they could have never gotten above the ground to see what they had depicted? Well, there's many theories here. Uh, some people say they were drawing their astrological charts in the ground. Ironically, one of the figurines is of a spaceman, so they say perhaps aliens took them up. So you get some kind of some weird types hanging around the Nazca lines that think uh, perhaps the aliens will be returning sometime soon. Other people have looked at this and, and rethought it, and they don't often talk about the lines that come off of those main figurines. And some of them, some of these lines shoot 10 miles, 20 kilometers out into the desert. They're perfectly parallel. And, you know, first they thought perhaps this was the first ancient form of racetrack where people would start their race on one of the figurines and run to a predetermined spot in the desert. The theory that worked for me, though, is that, you know, again, we're in very dry, arid coastal Peru. And they've done some studies that at the end of about 45% of these lines are water reservoirs. So they say perhaps this was a way of depicting uh, where, you know, the holy water was located by extending lines out to show their kin where it, was, where it was located. And again, that's just one of the theories. There's many floating around there, and, and you can decide for yourself when you get here to Nazca. Now, from here, if you do have a chance, and not everybody has the opportunity to visit this place, but I highly recommend from Nazca, you do about another hour and a half to get to this place here. It's called the Cauchila Cemetery. And you can see here these very simple wooden structures, and beneath them we have these small bunkers. Now what's in these bunkers is some of the best mummified dead left to us in the Americas. These are the ancient Chan Chan people who actually came before the Nazca people and they did mummify their dead. Okay, and we're going to get the opportunity to look into their old graves and, you know, see these guys who are very well preserved because there's very little here to disturb the mummies. Again, we are in coastal Peru and there's very little rain um, or weather conditions to disturb the mummies. You can see still in their original clothing. We know this one here is a shaman because of his long braided hair. Other deposits just have children, and we know an epidemic must have, what must have um, swept through here in the ancient days, and they've buried their children here. Now, this is prone to looters because there has been, uh, you know, some jewels found in their, in their mouths, and a lot of that has been lo looted. So what we still get are the skeletons and, you know, their, their figurines and their dress, etc. Now, last time we were there, we got the opportunity to speak to an archaeologist on the site. And he told us an interesting thing about these ancient Chan Chan people. When they died, they used to wrap their dead in cotton, put them in a fetal position and face them towards the east. And the theory went you'd be in the fetal position facing east, so when the sun rose, you'd be reborn. They thought this was the whole cycle of life and reincarnation. Again, the preservation is pretty astounding here. You can see the toenails on this ancient baby. So really a worthwhile stop here at the Cauchila Cemetery. Uh, there are some beautiful hotels in the area, so it shouldn't be a problem finding accommodation as well. Thank you so much for listening to this brief talk on the Nazca Lines. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you continue touring around the world with me at www.kevinsworldvideotour.com. Thanks for listening.